Hello beautiful internet family, Danny from dancetube.tv and today we've got the full review on the DJI FPV drone but from the perspective of a commercial drone pilot. Someone who doesn't fly FPV at all, has never flown FPV properly, and flies a lot of commercial and filmmaking drones. You know, a lot of the Mavic series, even though they've cut that Mavic name. But a lot of the Air, Mavic Pro, and Mavic Mini, I've flown pretty much all of those drones. And now I'm coming over to an FPV drone. I'm not flying FPV though, I'm flying in sports mode, and I'm trying to make this a cinematic alternative for people out there that want a different perspective. And that was how I was coming into this review. I wanna know whether this drone is decent for people in the filmmaking space. If you're new around these parts, then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. And I've made it my mission to help technology enthusiasts unlock their creative potential with tech. And like I said, it's that time to check out the DJI FPV drone. Now, I really love this drone. It's super unique. It's exhilarating to fly. And I haven't been this excited to fly something in such a long time. But from my perspective, coming from someone who's used, you know, the Mavic 2 Pro, the original Mavic Pro, all of the Mavic Airs, and the Mavic Minis, and then coming over to an FPV drone, not having any experience, like very minimal experience with FPV drones, I'm not an FPV pilot. I'm not lying about it. <laughs> I'm not trying to pretend like I am. So people that are picking this up are normally FPV pilots, and they use it as an FPV drone. But I thought, can I make this a cinematic drone? Can you add a unique perspective and get rid of all those stagnant, predictable drone shots and create something unique just for a filmmaking perspective? And that's where I come in. First things first, you do have a crazy headset to use. It's crazy fun to use. Everyone looks at you. It is so out of place and I love it. Like just sitting at a bench, someone looks over at me and I'll lift the headset up and they're looking at me like, what is this guy doing? It's, it's crazy, I love that reaction. I also kind of feel a little bit vulnerable, like not knowing who's in my peripherals that are in my bubble is really freaky. Like I feel a little weird with this on, I'm completely lost in my own world. It's amazing, but it's also like, wow, I'm in society now, like I've got to you know, keep my wits about me basically. So that's the first thing, it's completely different. It's also really interesting how you use this battery pack to power the headset. One thing I would really like to see is why not make it larger? Why not allow me to then charge my battery while I'm out and about? If you made this a larger power bank and then I could power the drone battery as well as the headset, that would make the world of difference because I've got the one battery, I get 15 minutes of flight and then I've got to go home and charge it again. And it's just too much of like separation anxiety. I want to be flying. It's so fun to fly this thing. So that's the battery. It's like pretty much the same weight as the drone itself. It's quite a hefty battery and I probably get 15 minutes if I'm flying hard in sports mode, maybe 10 minutes, like 10 to 15 minutes of flight time. It's not massive and I've only got the one battery. So that's a big limitation. The other thing is the pitch, like the noise that this thing makes is so loud and people turn their heads. If they haven't already found a guy sitting over here with a bloody modem on his face with the four dongles, then they're gonna be hearing this thing from miles away. It's not subtle in the slightest. And I think in a cinematic sense, it's just crazy. Like people are looking and it's not a covert operation. So it's not really great in that regard where the other cinematic drones, people are just used to them. So it's not really that out of place to see a drone flying, but people look when this thing's in the air. The other thing is the camera. It's a 4K camera and the stabilization is like not great. You know, it's definitely not a stabilized experience that I'm used to. And I think that's just something I had to get used to because I was trying to get smooth shots and it just wasn't happening. And I found that the faster I would go and certain movements I would get, it seemed to really create that nice rolling effect, like you're rolling over the horizon. And I loved it when I got those kind of shots. I thought that was really unique and that adds to a cinematic experience. Like we'll cut in some footage here and you can see the difference between like the Air 2S footage, that nice stabilized footage, and then we'll cut it in with some footage from the DJI FPV drone and we won't stabilize it so you can see the difference. And now what we'll do after you've seen a bit of that, which is pretty unique and it adds a nice perspective to have stabilized footage and then some quite fast, you know, kind of abrupt movements almost from the FPV drone. And now what we'll do is we'll punch in a little bit, we'll crop it so that you can't see the propellers and we'll stabilize the footage in post-production. And you can see that the FPV drone really does have quite a unique perspective when it's stabilized and you can't see those propellers. It really does add to the scene. So now if you're to cut that in with the Air 2S footage, it does create a really unique viewing experience. 
and I think that really adds to it as like a complementary filmmaking tool. I don't think it's practical for a lot of people, but it does offer a really unique perspective for like a commercial drone pilot that wants to create something a bit more engaging. Now the other thing is this guy, the controller. Love the controller, it's super responsive, I love the size and the feel of it, it's great. Not crazy good range though. I've noticed that it cuts out pretty quickly and I actually lose a lot of the, the signal on my headset. Doesn't have great range, so you've gotta be really close, which you should be anyway, to the subject that you're shooting. Other cinematic drones have amazing range on them and the latest Air 2S has a 12 kilometer range on it, like just crazy. This guy, I felt it was quite limited with his range and I wasn't overly happy with that experience, but you know, I'm used to something with massive range on it. And I guess the overall flight experience from this drone as well was quite predictable, which I really love because obviously jumping to FPV is a massive jump. And if I jump straight into full manual FPV mode with this thing, I would be crashing. It would not be a fun experience for the drone and for myself or, you know, the D1 store that lent me this drone. So it's not, yeah, it's not great. If you've never flown FPV, you just do not want to deal with that. But to kind of jump straight into either like the normal mode or the sports mode, it feels very, very similar to all the cinematic drones in, in the sense that it will hover and it's very responsive. So as I shoot forward, you know, as I fly forward and then let go of the sticks, it will then level out and it will hover. So it's quite predictable in that sense, but it's also very responsive. So like a little gentle touch and it just tilts forward and then it will kind of settle out again. I think that was quite predictable, but it did have a chaotic kind of undertone to it, which I really loved. And it's such a menacing thing. Like when it boots up, it's got a really menacing sound. Like listen to this boot up sequence. I love this. You ready? It's menacing and it follows that trend when you're flying it. It's a menacing machine. And like I said before, everyone looks at it. It makes such a crazy sound and it just commands the sky. It's, it's quite dominant. <laughs> but honestly, I think the overall flight experience was pleasant. Like using just the normal mode and the sports mode, which is on the controller here, you can see there's M, S and N on the back here. And basically I can't unlock the manual mode because you have to do something with the controller to actually unlock the FPV mode. But just using it in the sports mode and the neutral mode, really unique to fly. It felt slightly different, but it felt familiar enough that I was comfortable with it. And after a few flights, I just really enjoyed flying it. And that's the thing about it. It's just such a fun drone to fly. So in the sense that you can get unique cinematic perspectives out of it, it's also just such a baller drone to fly. You can literally just launch through tiny little gaps. You can really push it to its limits. And it does have a very unique filming perspective because it just rolls with you. It's, it's really cool. I love that about it. So is it worth it? If you're a filmmaker, if you're in the commercial space, or you know, you want to create some cinematic footage, do you need a DJI FPV drone? Probably not if you already have a cinematic drone. If you've got the money and you want to add that unique perspective, then it could be a nice complementary tool to have. I think it's just a really fun drone to fly. Like a lot of the time when we're out there, you know, we're flying, but we're trying to get footage. Like a lot of the time I find that beauty of just actually flying for the sake of flying is lost a lot of the time, especially if you're in a beautiful location. Like you want to take video, you want to take photo, and you, and you just kind of get caught up in that capture mindset. And I found that with a lot of people I've spoken to when they're using their drone. But I think the thing about the DJI FPV drone that I really loved is it just took me back to the experience of flying. It just made me want to fly. You know, I didn't necessarily care about filming because the main thing I, I was like, I, I have to film because I got to do a video on it and I've got to do a review. But the first couple of flights, I was just enjoying flying it. It's just really fun to fly. So if you haven't you know, had that feeling, and I haven't had that feeling in a very long time, almost since the early days of getting my first drone. If you've missed that feeling, I think it can be a really fun addition to your arsenal of, you know, filmmaking tools. And then to add that unique perspective, just to use it for 15 minutes to get some unique shots when you're at a shoot, I think that's actually really cool. If you can afford it and you wanna stand out from the competition, have something a bit more unique, this could be really, really cool. And then on top of that, you know, you can mount a GoPro or something on top here, and there's enough clearance so that the propellers won't destroy it. And then you're gonna get some really smooth, unique footage. You put it on top here, it's gonna look unreal. So I think that adds a whole new element again. Anyway, that's the end of my review. I think the DJI FPV drone is unbelievably fun to fly. I haven't had this much fun in, in a long time flying a drone and I can't wait to fly it again. So I think in terms of just that fun factor and 
bringing back the joy of flying. I definitely had that with the FPV drone. I also really enjoyed like the way my mind would work because I knew that it moved slightly differently and I knew that I could get some different perspectives. So I really love that. And I think if you kind of cut it in with some cinematic drone shots, so you have like some nice smooth shots and then some chaotic FPV shots, it does add a unique perspective. And I really like that about it. So I think if you've got the money, go for it. Otherwise it's really hard to recommend a FPV drone for someone in the cinematic space. I've been, you know, blessed to have the opportunity to do this, but I don't think I can recommend it to a lot of people. Unless you really love FPV, then it could be a winner for you. But just in the cinematic space, it's a lot of fun. And if you can borrow it, like if you could loan it for a period or test your friends if they let you, I think that's the way to get your head around it before you make the investment. Anyway, guys, I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to have a great day. Peace out.